This is the most recent iteration of the BMW 7 series. Well, it is a facelift, but BMW told us it's a little bit more than just a slight facelift. Is that true? Let's find out together here on Autogefühl, your number one resource for in-depth car reviews and your number one community to discuss cars today with Thomas. In full HD, full screen and full length. Let's go. And this is directly where BMW have changed the most thing about this vehicle. You see this huge new BMW double kidney. It's the biggest one that is available for the 7 Series yet. We also have a, basically like, like a small round step in here. And it goes all the way through those new headlamps, which are slimmer than before. They come standard with adaptive LED for all markets now worldwide. Optional, you can also get this very laser light. You can see those blue accentuations, then with a high beam range of about 600 meters. Unfortunately, not available in the US because regulations there forbid it. So also with other models, they either restrict the range of the laser light or you cannot get it at all here with the 7 series. You can get just the adaptive lights in the US, but already those here, they are basically the maximum from the regulations in the US. So we have the maximum range also in the high beam. Then in the lower part, you can see this is here a chrome uh, style package. You can also get different ones, for example, an M Sport, where it's a little bit sportier than with the lower spoilers even. And there's also a shadow line available if you're not keen on the chrome. I like it pretty much, but if you prefer it, Rather in a black style, there's this shadow line package where you get everything then optional also in a darker tone. By the way, the whole front sits five centimeters higher now. So that's the reason why they had to change everything basically. And according also to the bigger BMW double kidney, they also increased the diameter of the front logo right here. Five meters 24 or 17 foot 2 is the total length of the 5 Series in the long wheelbase version. That's the so-called G12. It's also standard for the US market, for example. And the G11 would be the short wheelbase variant we can, for example, get in Germany. That one is then 5 meters 10 or 16 foot 7. We'll see how that long wheelbase version will play out on the interior. It's very, very, very interesting. Rims start from 18 inch up to 20 inch. Those ones are new spider style 20 inch. Very beautiful, I think. Then we also have this air outtake here for the, you know, reducing the wind turbulences. This is not just fake. This really goes through right there. Chrome also on the lower part and also around the windows. But again, if you pick this shadow line package, you can also get that in glossy black. So if you want a more evil style, so to say. The M Sport package would then also feature a different spoiler in the lower part to make it a little bit sportier. Other than that, we have the classic sedan style with the falling roof right there, integrated shark fin antenna. And I can also see something of the panoramic roof that will be very interesting, the key feature arriving for you there very soon. And just to mention again, this here is a mix of steel, aluminum and carbon. So it has a carbon core that brought down the weight. So although it's a large business sedan, it has a weight under two tons. The color, by the way, is called Bernina Gray. Yes, it's from the Bernina Express, taken from that one. It's a really great train ride. I can just recommend you to do that once in a lifetime. What do you think about the color? And what's new here in the rear? Well, this light stripe going all over the vehicle from left to the right. This is new and the tail lamps also have a more three-dimensional look and a new LED running light signature. This one is the 750LI, L for the long wheelbase version, I for the petrol. We'll soon find out more about the petrol engines and also the diesels. And there's a new plug-in hybrid version. And, well, what do they have all in common? 
Yes, those fake exhausts at the lower end, well, they're just tips. The real exhausts are inside, but they all look the same now. So that's also the reason why they're doing that, to keep the same design throughout the whole vehicle lineup. So what about engines? Let's briefly start with the diesels because they haven't changed anything there. Three liter R6, so six cylinder diesel. Um, this is actually a quite economical engine in this case. 265 horsepower, 320 or 400 horsepower. But what has really changed are the petrol engines. First of all, it's a vehicle which is really rare because in one vehicle you have four cylinders, six cylinders, eight cylinder and a 12 cylinder and those all in different horsepower spec and also the plug-in hybrid has been updated it moved from a four cylinder to a six cylinder basis and to go in detail you start with a 730i it's a rear wheel drive model a two liter four cylinder primarily for the asian markets then there's a 740i you can also get that one already with all-wheel drive it's a three liter six cylinder with 340 horsepower we had tested that one earlier with a you know with a nine liter consumption on one kilometers or 26 mpg so slight horsepower upgrade for that one then there'll be the new plug-in hybrid 745e now to 394 horsepower system output as i said before it was with a four cylinder and electric range supposed to be 50 kilometers pure electric range then this one the very one you see is a 750i 4.4 liter eight cylinder and this one had a massive power upgrade now from 450 now to 530 horsepower in 3.9 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles an hour. And this one will always come with all-wheel drive. Then there will still be the 6.6 liter 12 cylinder, the M760i. This one also with X drive with the all-wheel drive. And the horsepower figure will stay 610 horsepower in the US and other markets will drop down to 585 due to emission regulations. Here we go with the interior. First of all, let me show you the soft close feature. So here we go. Ah, magic. Very interesting always. And then those door handles, they have a very pleasant tactile feeling. So they also manage that very well. They are also illuminated and it feels really pricey well this vehicle actually also is of course so and now let's take a look at the inside first of all the inside of the doors right here you can already see the ambient lighting different colors available the decor elements are always wood and here in this case there's not an open sun matte variant available so you always have a wood but different color and always with a shiny surface right there see there's also soft materials on the inside of the doors and all the buttons for the window levers are galvanized so a good build quality there too also feels quite well well the door pocket below that is quite small so there you can only lay bottles in there they won't really stand upright then rest of the interior right here first of all very interesting feature you know with the carbon core right there is indicated also with this small sticker and on the lower part the door entry pads you can see they match each other symmetrically also very nice detail like when they pay attention to those details and then the new cluster here seat has changed a little bit with those smaller um, the smaller structures right there, the quilted structures, they are also new that they are a little bit finer. Uh, this seat here, by the way, is only available with animal skin. There are no alternatives they are offering at the moment. Steering wheel has not changed, still heated function available. What has changed are the digital instruments. And if you now discover a BMW X5 there, that's because they have changed to the new software and this is a pre-production model. So this will, of course, then feature also a 7 Series in the visual display. Let's take a seat right here and you have this classic rather low seating sedan position. I've put the seat to the lowest position. I'm 1 meters 86 or 6 foot 1. And with a panoramic roof, that still leaves me some headroom right there. It's a big car and you also have enough room, that's for sure. And a very comfortable seating position so you can relax while driving. But you know, driving the 7 Series, know it from earlier reviews, still feels somehow sporty. That's also, you know, what their core promise is actually. And 
most of the updates for the face it will be the infotainment system we'll take a look at that very soon but here you can already see how the ambient lighting yeah in this case when with the purple color illuminates here the interior is also very nicely done interior overview here with this horizontal stress and i like the symmetry look here the 10.3 inch screen which has been updated is mirrored here in the lower area this is really cool still separate climate knobs right there but then with a um, screen this is also a good solution you can easily reach it also while driving on the left side now digital instruments 12.3 inch we'll soon go in detail of those screens and this will also be standard standards have also the two zone ac with right and left control seat heating gps included but i mean it's ninety thousand euros or dollars at least and reprise this car then it also should come with some up uh, with some included stuff do you see the ambient light in the panoramic roof this is the panoramic roof in the rear it's the same as for the front and a laser comes from the side and then those um, you know small structures in the glass reflect it and then you have also have an illuminated panoramic roof it's hard to see it on camera just from several angles but you can better see it with your own eyes and it will match the interior ambient light color really interesting and in the front here you can really talk about the ceiling in this vehicle those bmw wings for the front reading lights still one of my favorite features in this vehicle so much to discover here you see this turbine style led from the bowers and wilkins optional sound system behind it really cool detail by the way you can see it right here what was manual once in bmws for the uh, front vents is also all electric now really interesting you can change between the temperatures but then below that still has a cd changer right there you know music lovers appreciate it for better sound quality then again those classic climate unit right there is a mix of the classic and then for for the vent strengths it's all with the display right there and also with touch then below that you can slide this one here totally open or just half the way and then push it slightly and then it goes all the way back interesting system inductive charging pad is now introduced right there so you can put your smartphone on there but also a classic usb port and adaptive cup holders next to a 12 volt power supply lower middle console you have the classic control turning and pressing knob with the hotkeys automatic gear shifter on the other side you can pick the driving modes for example if you have the air suspension it goes up and down then as well here also for the air suspension and a separate camera knob there's a new parking assistant package with when you go front way in the parking garage or so and it basically memorizes the function when you go backwards again then it automatically goes the way back you've driven in the front if maybe your way didn't work out well and also an automatic dash cam included in this package is also inbuilt in the vehicle then so an interesting option for sure last but not least we have this armrest also with a new quilting on the top and it opens in a split way with a usb-c port so you have a transition usb normal in the front and c in the armrest and here the digital gauges again you see the x5 because it's a pre-production software you will see a 7 series right there left side speed and counterclockwise you see the rpms going up then the infotainment system also with touch with a new 7.0 software this is the map also with good responsiveness but you can still control it from below of course you don't have to use the touch you can use both that's actually quite cool telephone with bluetooth or wireless carplay we said it earlier bmw does not support android auto because they think they would um be do bogus with the data <laughs> This is, by the way, here the gesture control. So, for example, this one, or you could also have the favorites. If you make this gesture, they have the, you can have different gestures then for different functions. So, let's now get to the rear compartment. Very interesting, you have different setups. First of all, the long reverse version, you can see it has a way long door right there. And when you look at the interior, there are different choices. This one here is the top executive package with split seats and all electric, of course. Then if we go from top to bottom basically you can also get the executive seating where you can fold flat but without the middle console so with a three-seater setup one level down and this is then also available for the short rebase models you get a bench that goes all the way through but has electric seats and the base one would be just a rear bench with three seats so again if we go from uh, from, from lower standpoint 
base rear bench, no electric, then rear bench, three seats, just electric, and then you have this setup with the executive lounge. I will soon show the fold flat option and the top spec we can see right here again with the middle armrest. So overall four different options, a little bit complicated, but if you didn't understand it well, just replay it. Then you can see the entertainment system is also optionally available. Then you can, for example, follow the GPS even if you're driving in the rear seat. And let me also get you in the rear then here because I have set the driver's seat to where I was driving. And in the long wheelbase version, that leaves me plenty of leg room right there. In the short wheelbase version, that would be just like this. So it would be really close then. And um, that's why I always say that those cars do not have the best package. Although they're super long, they don't have so much room on the interior. So a lot is also wasted basically. But in the long wheelbase version, especially if our friends in the US, then we'll be happy with that. You will have plenty of leg room still left. And already here, I can control the seats, a lot of functions, different, for example, different angle here. And I can also go a little bit forward. This is all possible, the backrest and seat massage also for the rear seats also available. That's what belonging to those very executive packages. And almost everything is electric, for example, also the shades here for the doors. Yep. And this is here now the one button executive feature. So I just hit one button at the inside of the doors. And then you can see the seat is going flat. Also the co-driver seat, this is also part of the executive package, goes in the front. And it will also give me the possibility to rest my foot then on the on the seat. It takes, of course, just a while, but it's a very funny feature for sure. There it goes further. While the seat is changing, by the way, I can also show you this middle console here. So we have adaptive cup holes and also separate climate control for the rear. Here we go. And now finally the footrest is opening up. And this is a pretty cool feature. It does not exactly fit my length. Um, maybe like this. So with 1 minute 86 or 6 foot 1, you cannot stretch your legs completely. But if you're a little bit smaller, then it will directly fit. This is really boss style, isn't it? <laughs> but even more boss style is also, we first of all have a separate tablet here also for the rear. You can also remove that electrically like this, and then we can control even more features with this tablet. Yeah. Will you ever use all those features? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, then we have another middle armrest right here with a foldable table. like this and last but not least champagne cooler like this it also goes to the trunk here you can also have your cold drinks and finally the trunk which is at 530 liters capacity you cannot flip the seats there's just this is basically the cooler you can also take it out and then we have a the full capacity it's big enough for sure and also has a wide hole to open uh, to, to get things in and out and if you don't have the cooler you can also load things through so as a ski hatch available and now to our conclusion for today well indeed it is a little bit more than just a slight facelift because the whole new front has been changed and the 7 series is more present on the road than ever before on the interior, there are not so many changes. You know, the infotainment updates, that's the most important point that you get the newest software generation right there. Of course, you could also solve that with over the air updates, but most of the traditional manufacturers are not there yet. You have also different possibilities for the rear seats, as we've seen before, you know, we could go for the classic bench, as we've told you, but also here with this executive style. The long wheelbase version will be, of course, especially important for the US and for the Chinese market where they're only sold. And from the rest of the car, not so much has been changed as in the front there. It remains the classic sedan style. Well, of course, you have this engine updates. This is also a significant change. All engines have been updated then for the new emission cycles, for example. And you have, in most cases, way more power than before. What is still missing are sustainable alternatives for the seats. Definitely also here in this business class style, because also more and more customers want sustainable choices. So they're still going a very 
classic way here. And the overall usage of space in the long wheelbase version, of course, you have more leg room, but overall considering the package, I think you should also get more room on the inside considering the exterior of the car. But that's a general problem with this segment. Of course, now looking forward to your feedback, how do you like especially the new Frontier with that huge BMW kidney? Let's discuss the new 7 Series here and also tune in when we have the full driving review for you.